Hey everybody and welcome into this North Node series of readings. I wanted to do these this week. I've been asked to do them for quite some time and I think if you like these I might make these a regular thing. Um, your North Node, if you don't know, it looks like a little set of headphones and your North Node is the energy, the karmic energy you're here to embrace in this life. It's brand new. And conversely, your south node is what you bring to this life. This is the very familiar. So you might find that going toward your north node does feel unfamiliar. That's kind of the point. The south node is your comfort zone. It's what you already know. So going toward your north node can be a challenge sometimes. So this might be something that you might be like, Oh, that feels really foreign to me, or that feels a little scary to me, or that feels like, wow, where have you been all my life? That's what North Node is here to bring you. So take a look at your chart, figure out what sign your North Node is in, and then take a look at your reading. It might be something brand new. It might be just a new way of looking at things that you hadn't considered. So without further ado, welcome to the series. All right, it's Gemini's turn. Gemini North Node, how you doing? Let's see what's going on for November. Gemini energy in North Node is about being a teacher, an archi uh, the archetype of a messenger, storyteller, someone who goes deep into the details. The shadow side of Gemini North Node can be a little bit scattered, can tend to be a little bit scattered, or can be very transactional. Okay, so that, that north node can be a little bit uh, dis, disengaged. Can also have a hard time making decisions. That's the shadow side of Gemini too. Let's see what's going on for your north node in Gemini. I am gonna, if there's any zodiac signs here that could be sun, moon, rising, or Venus, they're not, it's not somebody else's north node we're looking at, okay? If you're dealing with a Virgo, you're dealing with a Virgo in this reading. I will look at those in the extended, okay? All right, um, protected by angels. This is good to know. Protected by angels, miracles. What's happening, Gemini North Node? Wow, surrendering to the journey. My goodness. I feel like some of you, um, anytime the North Node is out of balance, like if let's just say uh, your North Node in Gemini can be about being very industrious, can be about, you know, um, digging deep for information. Sometimes you have to surrender though. Sometimes you have to release and let go in order for something to come in and instead of like going after it yourself, right? So there's a little bit of balance needed here. I feel like you're on the precipice of something really amazing. Okay, Gemini. I'm going to look at the situation right now. I'm going to do the do, don't do spread. All right, so what's your situation right now? Okay, situation, three of pentacles. That can be about collaboration. It can be about becoming a master at what you do for work or becoming a leader, someone highly regarded. Do, emperor. Do be in charge, my darling. Do take the bull by the horns. Don't do. almost lost the whole deck there don't do five of pentacles don't go down a road of defeatism i'm not good enough i can't do this by myself all right you're going to need to really stand in this aries energy aries is me myself and i manny and man okay it's you know you're the one who's going to be leading you might um have other people around you who are taking who have the energy of taking all right Let's see where we go here. Show me Gemini North Node. Gemini North Node coming up as the death card. Transformation. Ten of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Woo, I like this. Tower. Wow. Nine of Wands. Hanged Man. Outcome is the Ten of Pentacles. Like, I'm liking this. So the don't do is don't go down this road of being self-defeated, okay? Don't think you can't do things for yourself. Don't think you're, you know, you need somebody else's help. 
um, in terms of saving you. You can save you. Emperor, you can save you. Do, do you want to collaborate with other people? That's fine. But you're bringing something to the table. It's a fairly even exchange. If you have people around you who are take, 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 uh, I think you might want to let that stuff go. There. <laughs> All right, so you're coming up. Some of you could also have been single for a long time and you're really feeling, this almost reminds me, this, this card here, I used to see it as like he had a pole, like he was holding up those three of pentacles, but that's not really what he's doing. He's kind of chiseling on the wall there. And I feel like some of you might feel like you're, you're the only one holding up the tent pole, okay? Um, and you could be very focused on your work. Uh, the nine of pentacles and the emperor here are about me, myself, and I. It's not about me as a, as a, as a team. It's about me. So Gemini North Node, because Gemini, you know, uh, in tarot is the lover's card. So it is about balancing relationships. This is really about you taking a stand for you. And I feel like that's what's going to bring in love. Okay. I, I feel like love can also be the thing that's helping you stand up for yourself more. It's kind of like a mix. You might have been doing things on your own for a really long time. Okay. And it's like, it's time to blow up the baggage. Tower, nine of wands, hanged man. Blow up the baggage that has held you back. If you keep having people in your life who keep holding you back, time to do something else. Because I feel like what's coming in, what's coming in here is life partner for Gemini North Node, okay? Um, for the past two years, the, the North Node, the actual North Node, it's a, it's a uh, mathematical point around the moon. The actual North Node we have been in, in a transit, is uh, North Node in Gemini. So uh, right now it's about at four degrees Gemini. Uh, North node and south node always go in retrograde. They're always in retrograde. So they're moving back into uh, Taurus and Scorpio at the end of this year and into 2022. So as you know, if, you're, if your north node in Gemini is around four degrees, you could be getting activated um, into transforming, right? Transformational energy. You could be getting uh, activated to go toward Ending a cycle and beginning of cycle, beginning a cycle of a long-term relationship. I feel like if you've been a lot about your work for a while, or you might have been alone for a while, I think I keep, I keep seeing that. If you've been alone for a long time, it's really time to take on a relationship that's growing and healthy. Um, if you've been in a relationship that's been about takers for a long time, it's time to assert your independence. Okay, that's the Aries energy there. I do see um, Aries and Scorpio. If you're dealing with a, a sun, moon, rising, or Venus, Aries or Scorpio, we're going to take a look at that. I do like where this is going. Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to be in this beautiful energy of feeling very stable and secure. And I don't know that you see it coming necessarily. Death transformation. In Scorpio time, um, I feel like you could really have some kind of tower moment where um, you're letting go of things that you don't need to hold on to anymore. And that could be anything. That could be like, you know, you might be holding on to some, you know, body dysmorphia. You might be holding on to some eating disorder. Or you're holding on to something that's holding you back and keeping you small. That needs to go. All right. It could be baggage from a relationship or it could be, you know, problems in your career that are holding you back from getting a new job. All of these things are getting blown up. I do think we're going to have some major transitions in the next couple of months. OK, we are moving. Uh, all the retrogrades are going forward now. Thank goodness. Um, and so I do see that you are releasing and letting go of some pretty low vibration stuff. OK, that's nice. All right, in the extended, I will look at Aries and I will look at Scorpio. If you're dealing with those signs, let me know uh, and we'll see where we go. All right, if you want to continue on with me, Gemini North Node for November, the link is below. I'll see you over there.